If you really want to crush 2017 and reach all of your goals, you need to learn the one word which is called mastery. And mastery is about the repetition. You think about being a black belt in martial arts. All you've got to know is eight moves. That's all it takes. It's not learning like a thousand moves or 3,000 moves or 40 moves. It's just learning eight moves. So this year, I want you to think about what will be the eight black belt moves that you will put into your business. So today, I've just really just made out a little roadmap or a little bit of a, a bit of a plan for you to understand what could possibly be the eight moves that you could put into your business. So let me just start off with the first one. First one's like outside sales. Outside sales is really easy. Think about farm area, think about patch, think about your business development area. How much of a black belt are you in that area? Or are you just putting out the occasional just sold or the occasional just listed? Or do you actually have a plan to build your name and build your profile in those areas? So outside sales is everything coming from that. Intertwined with a bit of outside sales is your social media. What are you doing in 2017? We've had Melanie Hull here for the last couple of weeks talking about the digital space. What are you doing to grow your business and profile and brand in that area right now? So that's your outside sales. Look at your business. How much of a black belt are you in that? Inside sales is really simple. Inside sales is everything within your database. So fears of influence, past clients, you know, things that you do like anniversary calls. Anyone that's on your database that came from an open home, that's all your inside sales. So the question for, I have for you around that is, what are you doing to reach out to people like I'm reaching out to you through a newsletter each week? Are you putting something out at least once a month into your people? Because that's where those fears of influence come back and give you inside sales. Then we have what we call circle sales. Now circle sales is really simple. It's just like, you've got your listing here and you have an eight week touch point plan. The clients that work with me, they know exactly an eight week touch point plan is sending a message out to those people in and around that area through the streets and surrounding streets, hearing your name with a different message for the next eight weeks while you've got that listing and you've made that sale. It's a little bit like storytelling for the next eight weeks. Okay, not just one just listed or just one sold. So the circle sales is having a, a, a really sort of like, I call it like a, a really thoughtful plan around your sale because as you know and I know, another possible lifting might just come from that sale that you make. So that's your circle sales. Are you black belt around that? Hey, what about your listing presentation? Have you actually done breakdown or breakthrough? If you haven't, make sure you book in at the end of this year to come down to do my seminar breakdown to breakthrough. We talk about conversion and you know where all the money's made today. It's all made in the conversion. If your listing presentation today is less than say 80% in converting, guess what? You have a problem. It's like Houston, we got a problem. That's what you're gonna be thinking about. You need to work on your listing presentation and bring that up to over 80%. How do you get to that level? you got to be black belt. If you're not black belt, you're a white belt. And if you're a white belt and you're a green belt, you're around 30 to 40%. You're never going to get the business. You're not black belt in that move. Next one, business plan. We all hear about it. Have you done your business plan for this year? If you haven't re written it down, ink it. Start writing down your business plan and know your numbers. The average sale price in your area, your average commission, your conversion numbers that we just sort of spoke about around the listing presentation. But what about your conversion from an appraisal to a listing opportunity, a listing opportunity to a listing? You need to know your numbers and that's a business plan. Next thing is, bah, genius zone, right? That's the place where you live on a daily level, which could be your prospecting. It's where you may be hustling, talking to people, having conversations. But the genius zone for a lot of real estate agents is where you're actually tapping into your thread and your creativity. And that's where you're connecting with people. How often are you doing that at the moment? Are you like a green or a white belt around that? Or for some people it could be pink, like not doing it much at all. But think about it, be in your genius zone. Two to three hours a day, 30 conversations a day is the minimum. That's what a black belt looks like. Let me tell you about self-awareness. You know what? You really want to be comfortable in the shoes you walk in in 2017. If you don't, that's not a level of self-awareness. That's a place where you're sort of like walking with a mind with no direction. You need to be feeling good about yourself, not in an arrogant or cocky way, but in a way that you feel really confident about who you are and what you stand for, right? Do you know what you stand for this year? and know your numbers and, and know your listing presentation, how good that is and, and knowing that you've got a black belt around these parts of your business, 
That's what I call self-awareness. But the other big about self-awareness is accountability. If you really wanna grow your business and you grow as a person, you've gotta look at yourself and check in with yourself and measure. That's the only way you become self-aware, is checking in with yourself on a regular basis. When was the last time you did that? Maybe the last time you got your car serviced, right? Could have been a while ago. Last one, but not least, is mindset. Yeah, you know what? You need to be developing an unstoppable mindset. And I talk about like, you know, having the, the three to seven second rule, which means, you know, JD, I just do it, Nike, right? Like you, pro you procrastinate or you think about, it's not even procrastination. It's like, you know, you're just stopping yourself. And you know, this thing here, it's the most powerful thing that we have. And you can push back and win against your mind every time. But you know what? We self-sabotage ourselves. So what are the rituals that you're putting in to develop this mindset to be unstoppable in 2017? And that's what I talk about being black belt. How are you gonna be mastering your emotions and feelings going into next year? I'm gonna talk about that in my next video. So you better look out for that one if you wanna have an unstoppable mindset in 2017. So eight moves is about getting the black belt. Mastery is about repetition. Where is your mastery going into 2017?